let's write another custom hook in react named this timeout so this problem statement says that we have to reset the timer if the delay changes and do not reset the timer if only the callback changes so this each timeout will take two parameters one will be callback and another will be delay okay so let's start so as it says reset the timer if delay changes so for that we will use is effect and it will take callback is the first argument and the second will be dependency array so in dependency we will put delay we need to import is effect so for that what we will do let's import is effect from here. now let's see we need to call this callback once this delay gets over so for that what we will do we will do const timer id set timeout it will take two arguments as well the second will be delay and the first will be callback function next see what it says do not reset the timer if only callback changes so after this timeout gets over we need to call this callback right so to call this callback we need to call it here and if we call this callback here we need to pass it to dependency array so that if the reference of callback changes or basically you can say when the callback changes this callback inside effect should get updated but when we use this callback as a dependency array this will reset the timer as well right so for that to get access to this callback inside this effect what we will do we will use useref so we will import useref here and we will name it callback ref initially it will be null now see we need to store this callback so that through this reference we can access it inside effect so for that we will do cvref dot run equal to callback let's give it type of any update okay, goes now we will have this callback inside this callback ref now this callback even if it get updated or it reference changes we can access it inside effect through this callback ref so we will first check if we have callback ref dot current or we don't need to check because it will be always there we have a default function here so what we will do we will call the callback function which will be stored inside reference current value now this is correct this this will work perfectly but there is one case what if the component using this custom hook gets unmounted so in that case we need to clear this timeout so how we can do that we can return a function from effect we will return a function and what this function will do it will just clear timeout and we need to pass the timer id that's all or let's submit this code okay it passes all the test cases if you would like to watch videos like this hit the subscribe button now